We're continuing our series on the accusations of the evil one, the battle that we're in, the agreements that we make with them, and the authority that you and I have now to not only combat those things, but to defeat them and speak a better word over our life. Once we do that, great things happen. Colossians chapter 2, if you are listening to some of our last episodes, you realize how Christ on the cross defeated the powers of the enemy. He nailed all these accusations to the cross. And so Paul is able now to tell the Corinthian church three very important things. The first one we'll talk about today and the second two in the next two episodes coming up. The first one is in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Now remember, this is the context of Christ nailing the lies, the sin, the wounds, nailing all of that, the brokenness, the Isaiah 61 of why he came to do this purpose is to heal the sick, to, uh, to, to uh, break the chains, to bind up the brokenhearted. And so he did that through the cross. And now because he's done that, Paul gives us the authority to know this. Verse 8 says, see to it that no one takes you captive. No one can take you captive. Satan tries to take you captive, to believe things about yourself that aren't true, to believe diminished truths about yourself, your insufficiencies, your inadequacies, uh, your, your lack. And, and once you do that, you begin to lose hope and you begin to lose faith, confidence that you can do great things. So, so the first thing I want to say to you as you're battling these accusations and breaking the agreements is don't be held captive by these agree- agreements. Don't let them hold, hold you captive. Every time you have a thought um, that is... Um, coming against you as an accusation, that's an attempt to hold you captive to that thought. And you have to go back to that cross, the blood of the lamb, the word of your testimony, the laying down your life even to death for the purposes of the power of God released and the authority in you to do that. So don't be captive to those foolish, phony lies of the devil. 